Hi, I'm Steve Bigger, Director of Equity Research at S&P Capital IQ. Welcome to this week's edition of Equity Analyst Forum. With me today on Equity Analyst Forum is Building Products Analyst Mike Jaffe. Mike, welcome to the program. Uh, thanks for having me here, Steve. So this week's focus stock of the week is USG Corp. Can you mm -hmm. tell us a bit about the company? Well, basically, they're a, um, a manufacturer and distributor of building products, and they're actually the uh, leading uh, manufacturer of uh, gypsum wallboard in North America. Mm -hmm. And in terms of market served, uh, they derive the majority of their business, uh, the majority of their sales from um, residential and non-residential repair and remodeling markets, mm -hmm. and then the uh, largest part of the remainder comes from new home markets. Okay. And why are you favorable on the stock right now? Well, basically, my, my feeling is that after what was a very long and um, period of uh, very large losses, mm -hmm. that their business is finally in well, what I view as the early stages of what will be a strong and extended upturn. And mm -hmm. um, my, my optimism in that regard is because I think that a combination of a better economy, pent-up demand, and what I view as very affordable pricing, mm -hmm. is finally uh, got us in the midst of a recovery of housing markets. And of course, since USG is a major distributor of building products, uh, you know, with housing markets improving, I mm -hmm. see demand for that products continuing to um, go up. Mm -hmm. So how are you evaluating a company like this, and what's your 12-month target price? Well, basically, my 12-month target price on uh, USG is $40, and that's based on a blend of my relative PE mm -hmm. and discounted cash flow models. And I'm looking at that on relative PE basis, um, my target price amounts to 23.5 times my 2014 EPS estimate. Mm -hmm. And um, if you take out extremes, that would come out to the middle of USG's valuation range during uh, profitable periods of the past decade. Mm -hmm. And I, I give it that valuation because um, I'm very positive, as I said, on their outlook, but I also have to acknowledge that housing markets still have a bunch of uncertainties and risks mm -hmm. um, related to them. And then in terms of my discounted cash flow model, I'm forecasting strong levels of cash flow over the next five years and mixed mm -hmm. results over the, the subsequent 15. And that also winds up giving me an intrinsic value of $40. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned risks. Uh, let's go a little deeper into that. What else do you see? I guess the, the, the risk that, uh, that I think is the largest for the company is if the upturn in interest rates that we've seen over the past three months continues. And I think mm -hmm. if interest rates keep going higher, it could provide you know, challenges and a threat to housing markets. So that's the biggest mm -hmm. worry for me. And a couple of other factors that you know, pose risks are I see it would be if the uh, U.S. Um, economy turns down mm -hmm. or if U.S. labor markets turn down. Mm -hmm. Great. Thanks, Mike. Thanks very much, Steve. And that's been this week's edition of Equity Analyst Forum. We'll see you again next week.